Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are y'all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And there you go. There you go. So we're going to keep working on the skill component. Um, now we're just going to make a STD map of skills. And we're going to store all, all our skills there. Now we could... We could, what we could do, we can make an enum here, we can make a vector and store all the skills there. We could also make individual skills here, skill, strength, skill, blah, 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 blah. But I like maps because you can iterate through them, you can do whatever you want, uh, basically, and you can, you can get them by using these keys. So let's just use that style. I, I like training uh, with new stuff, right? You never know when you're gonna need to use more maps. So why not just keep practicing using these? So std string is the key, and skill is going to be our um, is going to be our uh, value attribute. So there you go. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now once that's done, we're gonna go into um, your skill component right here and I'm not gonna make an initialize skills uh, function you could do that if you wanted to but the reason I'm not doing it because the sole purpose of this skill component is to create the skills and update them so that's why we don't need to kind of divide it up too much all you need to do now is this skills and just say whatever the name is right so this skills um, let's say there is a um, defense skill this skills um, attack okay that would be the accuracy or we could say accuracy accuracy skill accuracy defense that's good now we need the base skills skills uh, maybe we want a um, health or hit health, I guess health or vitality, but vitality could be stamina as well. Ability. Let's give them clear names, okay? Clear names, clear names. Health skill, this. Let me just copy this. Why don't I just copy this? All right now you can add any skills you want that's the thing of it right you can add whatever you want endurance okay accuracy defense um damage right or strength strength i guess okay or me ah, melee skill ranged skill now the cool thing is the cool thing is we can make a bunch of skills for specific melee weapons you could say sword skill um you could say uh, bow skill you could say uh and anything crossbows hammers so that would kind of help us with this whole thing why the, the reason we have these different classes of weapons different types of weapons um and we could use that right in here so depending depending on the weapon type, we could kind of kind of use the correct skill. Anyway, anyway, uh, that is uh, that is pretty pretty good, pretty good. We'll just keep it to melee and range for now, and then eventually we'll we'll figure that out because that will take a little more work. We're gonna need to put in a uh, weapon type, and then we'll check with the type what it is, and then we'll use that skill. Blah blah blah. Uh, but for now, melee and range are fine. Accuracy and defense. Endurance is fine. That's if you keep, you know, walking around, you gain more stamina, I guess. And then health, ranged, melee, probably missing some stuff, but that's cool. We'll just keep it to this. And then also, you know what, we'll, we'll do this as well. This skills, um, mining, and then maybe we'll have one more skill for wood cutting like that. So we can have our different... Uh, different vocations or, or uh, you know, uh, gathering skills and stuff like that. Uh, for now, that's fine. For now, that's fine. 
these are the ones we want. Good, 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 good. Now, there are so a few ways we could do this. We could have a, we could kind of update a skill. We can get a skill uh, by giving it the name, right? So that kind of helps us with this map thing. We could just give the name in and then it will get that skill. So what you could do is you could say skill reference and we want to be able to access it and change stuff in it. So that's why we're not doing a const here, but this is actually for the reference itself. So that, that should be fine actually. Const or, you know, Let's just keep it like that. Const get skill std string key. And then this itself doesn't really change anything, but since I'm returning a reference, it might complain. Uh, we'll leave that and go in here. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so this isn't supposed to be a skill returning. We could just get the skill back like that sorry about that and just messed it up um that's why i was complaining here because skill is a private class within skill component so we can't really access a skill from outside it's only going to be handled within skill component but anyway so uh return this skills key okay and uh, and then we're just going to do get level. Very simple. So we'll just return the level of this skill. Um, and then we can do all that const stuff. Doesn't matter. Const. Const. Uh, and then we'll do it in here as well. Const. Const. Boom. Pretty much that's how it's going to be. Uh, why is this no operator matches these operands at what about this at key okay that worked all right so uh, otherwise I guess you're kind of I don't know that was kind of weird anyway const everything like that use the at and uh, and that's cool so then you can get the level of that skill now if this Uh, if key skills at find okay erase count key okay there we go so that's the way we can see if it exists um, count key like that then we'll return this else uh, I guess else we need to throw because we don't want to be able to get a skill that doesn't exist so we'll just say throw here um, skill error skill component key does not exist or skill does not exist like that and then we'll just do the plus key here okay and then we'll see yeah there we go that key does not exist that skill does not exist and we should be good to go now it shouldn't really complain too much all right so before we end this video sorry it was a little long it was kind of weird um, but before we end this at least we have this going I want to be able to, I just want to create that in here. So I'm just going to go into player CPP and we're just going to say this create skill component like this. And player CPP. That's good. That's great. Once that's done, uh, I'm going to say this skill component get skill health like this std see out let's just see out that this skill component and run that real quick hopefully this will work and we got a bunch of errors or or uh, um 
things we need to fix. So once we do that, all right, we got a one here. So that's good. That is working. That is working just fine. Very nice. Very nice. Now, obviously, doing this means that you can get errors in in doing it. Let's just do this, for example, and try it out. See if that works or if it crashes. It's probably going to crash. Unhandled exception. Exactly. So we got a string back. And that means that, yeah, we got this, this exception right here. So that's good. Then we know what the error is, basically. Uh, we could catch it and see, probably. But anyway, that does work. We don't need to worry about it. We're good to go. Now, the final thing I want to do before we, uh, before we move on, uh, but to ending the video, is I actually want to fix these weird thingies and I'm pretty sure it's because of these the, all the warnings right so what do you want to do is you want to just static cast this to a integer this power of uh, function like this so I'm going to copy that and I'll put it everywhere where I have that like this and then we shouldn't have any more double issues error list warnings all right, no more warnings. No, no more warnings. So basically that was just that. We just needed to cast those to doubles. Uh, but there you go, guys and girls. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, hopefully that was cool. Sadly, uh, we didn't do much more, but at least we have our skills now. We can use them. And uh, we'll just go from there. We'll see what we'll do next, all right? But please check out the description box for all the links and all those things. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you liked the video. And uh, just drop me a comment if you have any questions. Like I said, I have a lot of things going on right now. So I haven't been able to answer that many questions. But if, uh, if you do have any urgent ones, just go ahead and write to me. And I'll see what I can do, okay? But thank you again. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one, right? Take care. Bye-bye.